everyone welcome to my channel so when i started out learning spring and microservices first of all number of resources was quite limited and second thing is nobody on youtube was talking about those particular resources which can be actually beneficial so today i am going to reveal some of the best resources for spring and microservices which could be really useful for you guys and i have personally used them as well and for the bonus tip watch this video till the end beldunk.com is my first pick for spring resources when you are just started learning spring i think this is one of those website which has given each and every details and basic topics on spring in a very easy to understand manner also if you go to each and every topic which has been linked like this you just go below and there are some code snippets also given which they have elaborately discussed in the whole article along with that if you want to do these uh, you know these projects which they have explained throughout the article they have given the implementation of those article also in the that github project link they they will be giving in each and every article so uh for example if you are not able to you know just uh while going through this article if you are not able to create the whole project by your own but by just going through the code snippet you can just go to this github link open that download it and install it in your system i mean set up in your sts and just try to run it and then play with it so this way you will be able to understand the topic much more in depth my next pick is mkyong.com yes this is my personal favorite because this is where I, when i have started out i have learned spring from this particular website because see nowadays if you are using spring then you just have to write some annotation with a uh, like following a particular framework and then that's it your rest api or your application is done and good to go but you will never know that how the things in the background is working currently because for that you need to go to the core of the spring framework or to the basic of the spring framework and that's what you will get it here in his videos in his articles basically and also he has explained each and every topic with one particular project so it will be very helpful for you to understand it because nowadays even if you are writing uh, like suppose when we are creating a bean or object in case of spring we are just writing one annotation like other at control or or component or something on top of a class and it is just creating a spring framework is creating a object or bean for you right you don't have to worry about anything else like using new operator or doing something else to create that particular object of that class but when like but if there is any error occurred while creating that object as you don't know what is going behind the scene you won't be able to understand the issue as well so for that you need to get into deep like in this case actually spring uses reflection api of java to create this uh, this bean or object in spring framework so all the in basic or like in depth details of spring like dependency injection spring ioc how we can uh, do the dependency injection using setter getter or constructor all those very basic details when first spring started out with all those details like using xml how it uh, progressed and uh, like nowadays we can configure spring using java how it happened all those basic details you will be getting here so this these are the links and you just go to one link just open one link and yeah see here he has explained each and every topic with 
proper code snippet constructor injection and everything okay so he has given proper code snippet to explain it and also uh, for project also like here if you see yeah see spring hello world example spring 3.0 hello world example spring loosely couple example each and every aspect of spring he has explained it with one example in a very proper way so i highly highly recommend his website to learn spring if you are a starter my third pick for spring is spring.io yes i know i know for some people it would be really boring sometimes to read the whole documentation that has been provided by spring.io but you have to admit that this is the place where the actual documentation of spring is provided not only spring but each and every topic details and framework of spring like spring ioc mvc boot spring data jps spring jdbc spring spring security and much more you will be getting it here and if you think like i mean reading the article like this will be much more boring when you have we were started learning then you can go the uh, like you can go with the first two resources that i have referred and this actually you can use it whenever you are in doubt suppose you have read something somewhere uh, for a particular topic on spring but you have a doubt on that on that particular topic so just come here to this website search your part that or search your topic that you are going through currently and just learn it from here because this is the place where they have given each and every details each and every update each and every deprecation if it is there uh, like after spring has got upgraded or something like that every details and every update you will be getting it here so this is that place where you can clear out all your doubts and queries here regarding spring if you have it's not a question answer pattern but yes if you search according to the topic you will be able to see so many things because this is the place where spring documents has been written actual like for java also we have java docs right similarly for spring spring.io is the place where all the details has been written here talking about microservices java brains is my first pick so if you are willing to learn microservice on your own then i think java brains is one of the best youtube channel to make you understand microservice in the most easiest way possible because whenever you want to learn microservice there are so many places where so many technical jargons are there which are really confusing for the very first place so if you check out the spring boot microservices full course it will make you understand microservice in so simplified manner that you will never forget that one more thing to mention that this particular youtube channel has not only have the microservices video but they do have all the basic framework of spring framework as well all the basic courses like spring boot spring framework spring eop spring data support so if you want to learn through video also this is a quite good start when you are a starter on spring medium.com is my second pick for microservices this particular website is my personal favorite because like they have articles from one of the best developers around the world if you see each and every article of microservice here they have explained each and every aspect of microservices in pictorial with their with some pictorial representation which is very easy to understand as well and the more interesting fact is there is not only one article on a particular topic suppose you want microservice with node js then there must be like two to three person who has given the article when on which they have the expertise in okay so this is a really good website to understand each and every aspect like you can get to know the 
different perspective on microservice of different developers as well around the world so my second pick is medium.com now if you have stayed with me till this part of the video then here is your bonus tip amigos code yes this youtube channel has some wonderfully explained microservices video playlist which you can go through and learn about microservice see here he has this whole playlist of microservice where he has explained all the aspects like service discovery load balancer rabbit mq kafka which most of them go hand in hand with microservice if you are starting started working with microservices so yes you can definitely check out his channel this is a really good one one last thing this video is not sponsored by any one of the resources that i have mentioned i have revealed them because i got benefited from them personally so that's all for today Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. I will catch up with you guys in my next video. Till then, keep learning with Pro.